Hi, my name is Angelica. I decided to become a truck dispatcher about two and a half, three years ago when a friend of me came to me about a position she had for a job doing box trucks. Um, it's very similar to truck, driver, truck drivers because it's the same style of dispatching. It's just basically the difference is the commodity and the size of the freight that you can haul. Uh, basically, I did that from home and that opened up a something for me that I really enjoy doing as a dispatcher. Uh, to be a good dispatcher, you definitely need to have good communication skills. Organization is a very important part, um, as well as being able to handle a fast-paced environment because on a day-to-day -day basis, you deal with different customers and different people, and it has to be in you to be able to handle their customer service differences, whether it be their race or their part of the country where you're speaking to the person from may be different from yours and you have to be able to know what the load is and where you're going and know your driver well enough to know if it fits his needs and your needs and if it's worth taking the load for the money and the area where you're going. I don't think I have a certain strategy that's special that will help me find a good load. Um, I like to get to know my drivers well enough that I know what they like and what they'll scale and what areas we want to be in and I talk to my drivers a lot before booking a load just so that I know how to find the next load. Also I try to keep a good uh, communication with br certain brokers and just so that they can always think of me as the reliable carrier when it comes to offering the best load possible. If I could give myself an advice, um, starting off as a dispatcher is not easy. It's definitely something that will make or break somebody when it comes to customer service and having that energy. You have to be willing to get going. You gotta get your truck moving, you gotta get the best load, you gotta do it very quickly, and you have to know what you want. Um, so definitely patience. But at the same time, you need to have the open mind that maybe if you take a load to an area where you don't think might be good, you'll come out better in a better outcome for the next load possible. Um, sometimes you have to take a hit to get to where you need to be the next day and make the money that you need to make. So being a dispatcher has its goods and its bads. Um, definitely there's more good than bad. Um, I feel like when you have an appointment time to meet, whether it be a pickup or delivery, you do have to make sure the driver can make it, um, but also there comes a times where you can't meet those times or something may happen along the way where the driver may break down and you do have to be quick and let the customer know so that you can find alternative ways to get the product to where it is. Um, where it needs to be also there's the goods of the fulfillment that you have within yourself that you're getting freight moved from one side of the country to the other and the fact that you're making money your drivers making money you're moving along some uh, drivers love the traveling aspect of it they send me pictures of the views and all of that and definitely it's a very fulfilling to have um, drivers that enjoy their job as much as you enjoy yours because dispatching can be stressful it does have its bads um, especially when they break down and you have to go out of pocket to pay or you can't meet the you can't take the product to the area where they need to be but it's more good than bad definitely being a dispatcher is very fulfilling I feel like it is um, important to have a friendship or some type of close connection with your driver as a, a dispatcher because not only are you working with them all day, sometimes you have to talk to them after hours and you hear about their families and you know about their situation because you deal with them day to day. Um, it's good, it, it's a good feeling to know that you know that person well enough to know what they want and what kind of loads they're looking for and what kind of money they want to make and for you to be able to have a good connection with them it helps you uh, be able to have that trust where if i tell them look today we're going to take a hit tomorrow we're going to be better they'll be more willing 
and more understanding that hey i know this dispatch is going to pull through for me i know that at the end of the week i will make what i was planning on making no matter what the issue may be throughout the load or throughout the week and it's it's pretty important to have a, a good communication and a good friendship with your drivers um, for all the new drivers thinking about coming on to status i would definitely let them know that me as a dispatcher i do like um communication with my drivers i do like to feel as if i'm a friend or even as I say sometimes a work wife just because sometimes they are with me or in communication with me more than they are with their families and I do want to have that communication and that feeling that they can trust me and talk to me about what the next load might need to be if they have to get somewhere or if they have to do something at the end of the month and they really need to make it home like I really like for them to come to me and talk to me and tell me things so we can plan. I like to have good communication. I don't like to force dispatch. I don't like to make somebody take anything that they don't want to take. So I like to know them and get to know them and make sure that everything fits their needs as well as my needs as your dispatcher. Um, I like to always make sure that there is perfect communication and that good stand, stand by within each other.